Hey, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a new episode of the FIFA 19 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. This is episode number 198. We are super close to episode 200. If you do enjoy today's episode, do me a massive favor, hit that thumbs up button. And I do apologize for any potential weird fuzziness around myself. It's super sunny out there uh, and you just can't do much about that. Like I've got my light set up in a way that it's going to help. But uh, yeah, it's just the, the, it's super sunny as I'm recording this video. We move on into today's episode where we need to finish off our weekend league. So I went from 2-2 two and two up to 9-2, and two, which is where we're at right now. Uh, and then this this game right here was also, I think, played... Oh yeah, I had so a, a tiny little spell on late Saturday night, which is this stuff right here. And then we move into when I play on Sunday. So the first match I go into in this late night Saturday night spell, the guy had a nice team plus a lone prime icon moment, 97 R9. Which is a little bit, eh? I didn't expect that. Um, so I was two 0 down in eight minutes. And now his Ronaldo was causing me a bit of trouble, but it was the other players that were actually finishing the the goals. Uh, and at three 0 after twenty minutes, I was just like, it's no, it's not worth it. There's no point in me playing on here. So we'll take the L there and we'll move on to the next game. Uh, next game, another very colourful squad, lots of different card designs in there, uh, including a a prime. Icon Rivaldo, he's got Talisca, uh, Arnautovic, who's obviously been great for us at one point in time. We don't really use him anymore, though. Uh, but I get through and score after two minutes. So it's just like nice that we were able to push through and get the goal with Albamiang. Here's Jovinho, whips one into Arnautovic, 38 minutes on the clock. And I don't feel like I deserve to be equalized on. Like I was pretty much dominating this match. So I needed to, again, wake up to try and get back into the lead. Albamiang, Berber spins round, uh, La Croquette is and then hits the low driven. I find that exact movement, if you can get the space to do the Berber spin and then La Croquette are out again so that you've got that angle to shoot and the defender's not in the way, that's the perfect way to get the near post uh, low driven to go into the back of the net. From my experience, anyway, 62 minutes or 63 minutes on the clock, uh, we're able to get a goal with Perisic, uh, and that's going to wrap that one up. So it was just a case of seeing that game out. I deserved the win. We push up to 10 wins, uh, but we're on... Three losses right now. So 10 and 3 at the moment. Uh, not the greatest, but again, definitely not the worst. I've had, I, I've literally had better and worse types of results uh, playing the weekend league. Next game, though, come up against three flashbacks, a Red Salah, a player of the month, Rashford, which is one player that I'm always very, very jealous of because we didn't have the coins that spare at the time to get him. Uh, David Villa scores a worldie of a volley to put him 1 0 up. Ibra puts him 2 0 up. And I'm like, huh? I actually, again, felt like I was probably able to beat this guy. So going 2-0 down annoyed me. But look at that touch from Louise and that finish from David Louise. What an absolute god that is. I mean, he's just a god. I love him. He's one of the best centre-backs I've ever used. Uh, and to be able to score a goal like that as well, I was super happy with him. Um, so I felt like we were going to be able to get back into this match and 64 minutes on the clock. Perisic, our super sub, is able to do that for us. Uh, I do really like Perisic. I'm glad that I spent the players and stuff that I had to get him uh, because I think he's going to be like an end game super sub. And he's obviously going to be very helpful later on this week as I try and unlock Milinkovic Savage. That's a great Serie A player to have. Uh, but as much as I got back in the lead with a header from Marcus Alonso, he had a flashback, Ibra. We were both two players which like to cross the ball in. Uh, he was trying it an awful lot. I was trying it an awful lot. It was working out for both of us because we both had Zlatan Ibrahimovic on the other end of it so eventually I come out with a 4-3 win but look how close those stats are an incredibly tight game it literally could have gone either way but that's us pushed up to silver one. You know, we're now uh, able to at least get the 2,000 points. If if something happened and I couldn't play anymore, at least we would get qualification to the next weekend league. But it's not where we're going to stop. You know, three more wins needed. We should be good uh, to get, you know, to get these wins and, and hopefully just end it on, on not too many losses this week. So we're 11 and 3 right now. Go 1-0 up with the god that is Mbappe scoring a goal for me. Felipe Anderson whips it in and Deli Ali is there to head past my uh, goalkeeper. I'm not really sure where my centre-backs were there. Should have been dealing with him a lot better. Uh, and then Decore gets a very lucky opportunity off the post. But we've seen me do that time and time again as well. So um, it was just frustrating. Zlatan then gets the equaliser 72 minutes in. And I felt like maybe I could, maybe, just maybe, I could get this game. Uh, and then he scores in the 80. 
80th minute and I'm 3-2 down. I was like, oh man, this is stressful. It was a red 88 Werner that scored the goal, uh, but I do get a 89th minute equaliser with, uh, is, it, is it Ivan Perisic that scores the goal? Yeah, so... Uh, then we move into extra time, and what a goal that is to concede. Unbelievable. Uh, I don't know why my goalkeeper didn't just put his hands out and grab it. It's just the way it is. That, you know, it took a deflection. It probably messed up with the coding in the game and stuff. Uh, but the, I let the game get away from me. And deservedly, I think my opponent won, which is... Just annoying, really. Uh, to go 120 minutes in and, and not get the win is obviously super frustrating. Um, especially especially when you're on a good run. So we lose that one. And it's late Saturday night. So one loss is, is going to throw my head a little bit. And I go 1-0 down in this one. And, and again, I'm just like, nope. I can't let this guy beat me. I genuinely felt all right on the ball and stuff. And he goes 2-0 up. And he actually goes 3-0 up. And I'm just like, what is happening here? I'm forgetting what to do on the controller. I can't. I don't know what I'm doing right now. But I genuinely thought that this was a match we should have come out and, and won. Uh, so at 4-0 down, I, I rage quit. I, at 3-0, I genuinely thought I was going to get back into the game. But at 4-0, obviously, it's just a waste of time at that point. So, yeah, GG's to that guy. For some reason, we I, I felt super confident on the ball. But then I just couldn't score, and I let everything in. Uh, and that happens sometimes. Now, we go into this game right here. Third game in a row where if we lose, we literally lost three in a row. At half time, I'm battering the guy. He hadn't even had a chance on goal. And it took until the 65th minute where my defense just went terrible. And I conceded on one of his first shots on goal. And I'm just like, uh, what? Uh, yeah, at this point, my head's fully gone. Um, I don't like losing. So to lose like three in a row, you know, he goes 2-0 up here in a game where I definitely should have won. Uh, you can see that I had 12 shots, eight on target, which was basically double what he had. Um, but yeah, I decided to stop at that point because I was just gonna, I was just going down a bad place. Uh, three losses in a row takes us from 11 and three to 11 and six. Embarrassing, not very good at all. But uh, we started the next day, and I was like, maybe I can make a little change. I still got six games left on this uh, Prime Icon Moments Zanetti. We'll bring him in for Terrera, see if he does anything different. You know, uh, it's difficult when you got like six games left on a loan. That's not very much. So you can't really use it for a full-on objective or a full weekend league. But hey, we've just got three wins to go. Maybe we'll use all of them loans up here, even if we're terrible, you know, and go three and three today. That's all of his loans gone, and we can enjoy him. First game I come up against, this guy's got a prime icon moments on reloan. Obviously, that's one that came out recently, uh, and you can get the loan. I've refrained from getting a lot of them, just because if I get, like, a couple, then I'm going to start spending more, and it's like 15k a time, and that's not good for the old coin balance, is it? But I go 1-0 up, then I go 2-0 up because Mbappe's a god. And it was a good ball in from Pavel Nedved, actually. 2-0 uh, up at halftime. Uh, I hadn't had as many opportunities and I was, wasn't was really in possession as much as my opponent. So I felt fairly lucky to be 2-0 up. And then I go 3-0 up because he sort of moves his goalkeeper and lets me have the goal. Um, so yeah, it, this was a situation where my opponent... Much like that one that I just rage quit at 4-0, uh, he probably felt like, why the hell am I losing this 3-0? And that's just like the inconsistencies of FIFA, I think. I didn't deserve to win that one, uh, and I come away with a 3-0 win. Madness. It's absolutely crazy. Uh, but we go into the next one. Nice team again. Prime Icon moments. Blanc. Messi, uh, Red, Dembele, like there's there's some good players here that I need to worry about. Uh, but a nice like running scoop turn. Or running open over the shoulder, fake shotty type turn, uh, leading in to a nice goal in off the post from Mbappe. But he whips the ball in to an open Messi who gets to take a touch. You can't let Messi take a touch and have an open shot from inside the box because it's going to fly in the back of the net. And that is a given because he's the GOAT. Uh, yeah, and then, well, I you know, Dembele gets a goal as well. Uh, he, he puts himself 2 1 up and. I'm all of a sudden losing again and I'm like oh no we're not ready to lose our heads today so I do that motion with the Lacroquetta and cut back and then hit the, the driven shot I get my equalizing goal with Mbappe uh, 60 minutes on the clock you know we can push through here with Perisic right at the end Zlatan takes the strike first time in off the angle in the 85th minute with his weak foot and uh, that's going to basically allow me to win this match I was planning on just holding it roughly in the corner but I kept getting opportunities like he was freeing up the middle for me, so I had to take another shot. Uh, whereas I would have just liked to hold the ball and hold possession and see the game out. But eventually, obviously, scoring another goal really just solidifies that win anyway. Uh, and that pushes us up to 13 wins. 
Can we now go and get our final win uh, in this final game of the episode uh, and and get up to 14? Now it's a it's a it's a five at the back squad, uh, but lots of good players there. I, I can see how you would manipulate that into a good four at the back, four two three one team. Uh, and I go one nil down after 14 minutes. And I could just tell that he dominated me for the first 15 minutes, 20 minutes of this game. Uh, and I was like, you know what? It's not worth it. I, I just need to get out of here. I was going to lose that game absolutely heavily. Let's just move on, get into another one. Unfortunately, it puts another loss onto the record but it just don't matter at that point because well actually we're you know we're 13 and 7 or whatever we're at like there's plenty of games left i've got 10 games left to get one more win it doesn't matter really how many we lose as long as we don't lose all 10 uh this game right here a nice one two between brant and fabinho and i haven't seen a first time finesse shot going in a while uh so that almost felt quite refreshing um and then well i missed the header there well Kepa saves the header and I get a corner from it. Nedved whips it in and it is Marcus Alonso to, to just put a perfectly placed header there. Not too much power, not too much loop. It was just good and accurate and into that top corner where nobody could quite get to it. Uh, and then, well, just before half time, his Rikarlison is able to um, to put him in the lead. But I get another corner opportunity and, well, Aubameyang gets a couple of goes at it. And even though I read time that one towards the end, uh, it still goes in because he was literally right on goal. If you missed that I'm gonna quit the game two all at half time two all after 90 minutes the second half was a lot tighter you can see that it looks like I've had the majority of the game um but even uh, oh I remember this one I genuinely couldn't score to save my life in the second half. I was hitting the post left, right, and center. Even into extra time, I was hitting the post. I must have hit the post five times in this game. It was very frustrating. But eventually, I got back in the game again. Uh, and then I finally took over in the 110th, 111th minute where we gift it to Mbappe to score right there. I think that's his hat-trick goal. We go 4-3 up. And again, I was just going to hold it into the corner. But look how free he gives me the opportunity there to score again. And even at the second time at it, we tap it into the back of the net with Aubameyang. 5-3 on the scoreboard uh, and that right there my friends is our 14th win of the weekend league. So 14 wins, 7 losses, definitely not the best of uh, performances from me but it is what it is and uh, there were a few rage quits in there and a few just absolute dominations from my opponent so uh yeah fair play to everyone that we've played this week. Uh, how did you get on in the weekend league? Let me know down below and of course let me know how you're getting on in the uh, weekly objectives for those players because I'm curious you know I want to know who you've unlocked how difficult you're finding it all of that stuff leave it in the comment section below uh, and whilst you're there if you do me a massive favor hit that thumbs up button so after uh, another weekend league display we are up to uh, I want to get to Mbappe and see what his goal to game ratio is you know Nedved's kind of one for one which is good but Mbappe 46 goals and 28 assists in 51 games maybe 10 of those contributions you can take away from being squad battles uh, but other than that, very, very happy with the Frenchman. He is actually amazing. And then Zlatan, Perisic doing quite well for us as well, considering he only plays a half. And Perisic is incredibly important, actually. Uh, he doesn't necessarily score as much, but he holds the ball up really well in the final third, which is so useful to see a game out. Just keeping hold of that ball because of his big stature and stuff. He's a great player. I actually really rate him. So, yeah, guys, that is going to end this episode. Do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe. Follow the Twitter, the Instagram. Those links are down below. Have a lovely day, most importantly. Tomorrow is the uh, mid-icon SBC. We're going to do one of them and see who we get. So that'll be very interesting to see as well. Look forward to that. Make sure you check out tomorrow's episode. It'll be live at the same time as normal. Have a great day, guys, and I'll catch you next time. Peace. <laughs>